Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to Trick or Trev Gaming. This is Trevor Hutchinson and we are playing again with Stellaris. Welcome back to Stellaris everyone. This is Trick or Trev Gaming. Um, and we are not quite where I left off in my last thing. But... Um, this is still the playthrough of the stock game. I tried to do some recording before and uh, had some issues with that one, so it never came up. Um, I'm trying some new software. Hopefully, it'll make it so that the uh, game will actually work correctly. Um, well, at a decent speed while I am recording this, and I am hoping that it will come back as a decent uh, quality for everyone to view. Um, if this works out great, I'll be able to start doing recordings on several of the other games that I would like to try out. Um, anyways, where we left off, we were still exploring the Alpha Centauri system. That's done. We're in Bernard Star, and we just did our first anomaly in Bernard Star, where we found a ancient mining marker. It's uh, Intelligent Life Taunts with Pointed absence reads a popular news net post on Earth. The people of the Systems Alliance are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record, but potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. Science officer Fadatier's report on the traces found at Bernard Star 2 seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situation. Anyways, we shall continue and speed things up. Oh, that's so much better. All right, they will continue to work on there. Okay, let's see what do we got here. Okay. I should probably save my money, but I'm going to go ahead and use a bunch of it to build more mining stations so I can continue my work on expanding my empire. Well, sort of, more or less. We have yet to discover any uh, alien life in the galaxy equal to our own. We ran our fleet down around here check how things were going over here and that's about as far as we ever got we haven't gone up north we haven't gone off to the side anywhere really there's a there and back So now I'm trying to, my plan is to save up some money for our first colony ship. Let's take a look at the surface here. All right, training him. Excellent. And where are we at on research? Solar panel network in 15 months, heritage site in 15 months, and mining network two in 15 months everything will be done in 15 months and we will move on We're getting too close, things start to freeze up a little bit. I'm actually having second thoughts on the fact that I have actually chosen missiles, or yeah, nuclear missiles as my starting weapon, because if I remember correctly, a bunch of those flying around tend to end up with a lot of issues. Toxic. Excellent, we've researched this one. Continental World, 21, 75% habitability. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see. 
As per President Jack Willis's mandate, additional mining stations have been constructed. I didn't even realize he had a mandate in place. Uh, serious sector survey is complete. You know what? We're going to come back over here to Procyon. Oops. Survey. Survey. And we'll see what we can do from there after that. All right. A little bit longer and we will be able to get our first colony ship under construction. Colony ship, begin the construction. Take a year for our colony ship to be built. Um, so, I actually currently, uh, when I first started this playthrough, I stated that a lot of my mods uh, weren't showing up at the time. I think I was just because, uh, I'm not entirely sure why. I had a bunch of mods, and then uh, last time when I went to play through this for recording for the first time, it never showed up. Um, my best guess was that it was just not available for whatever reason it was, and it just wasn't. Um, either updates, I'm assuming, because it was recently after the update, which also brought out the new DLC. Uh, but nope, I have all my mods back. I could do Star Trek New Horizons. I can do a Star Wars Galaxies playthrough to the point in which, you know, Old Republic style ships and the actual empire from there, Naboo, the Jedi, all that. Um, and I mean, I've got lots of other things, better explosions, some of those graphical and things like that just end up costing a whole lot more uh, system resources. And well, let's just face it, my computer's not the greatest. My last several playthroughs have been slow, choppy, all that good stuff. Um, so in reality, it is just easier if I do it this way. Um, I've got this software right now. I'm hoping it'll record everything decently. I did like a little tiny recording and went back and redid it all. And, uh, well, we will find out how things go from there. Um, <clears throat> once I get everything processed and popped up on YouTube, maybe it'll look good. Maybe it won't. Um, I've also got a few others that I'm working on checking out as well. Um, as far as my channel goes, um, I would love it if I can get feedback from people. I want to be able to make their, like I even say in my nice little uh, abouts page, I want to use people's suggestions. I'm not the greatest of gamers. Um, I am uh, not the worst. I, I feel like I'm pretty decent. There's plenty of games in which I've beaten. There's plenty of games in which I've died. There's plenty of games in which I have died in a hilarious fashion altogether. Um, yay, new research. Oh, all of my research completed, huh? Uh, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Fusion missiles. These updated space-to-space -space missiles have more powerful fusion warheads and improved flight performance. You know what? I'm going to go for a thruster. You. Let's go ahead and do that. You. Um, energy storage. Okay. Um, I want to be able to bring out, I'm mostly into sci-fi. I like some of the more traditional or more medieval style military games too. Uh, like Medieval Total War, Mountain Blade. I got a bunch of mods for that. Even a mod or two for um, Medieval Total War. Um, thinking about trying out some Empire Total War. I'm a big strategy gamer. Um, and if I like a bunch of the simulations. The first person shooter style. They're all right. Not the greatest in my book, but they're all right. Um, but no, I like simulators like the Combat Flight Simulators, the uh, Wing Commander series. I've even playing, played some Microsoft Flight Simulator back in the day. Um, it's been a while for that one. But um, 
Oh, what else is there? Well, um, and well, of course, I want to try out different mods. I want to be able to bring out new mods up to the forefront uh, to people who watch my channel and show them what is out there, what is coming, uh, and possibly even show stuff for games itself. Uh, what games are coming, what games are already out there that are good. Uh, even some games that people would view as bad, bad but I like them, uh, why I like them. And why, if people have the same taste as me, why they might like it. Um, but that's pretty much where I want to go with it. Um, it's going to be more of the Let's Plays and such. I want to bring out Space Engineers, but this computer can only run the DirectX 9 version of it, so... I can't even do the planets. Um, uh, yay! We now have a colony ship. I think, despite how nice it would be to be able to expand my territory a little bit farther that way, um, it won't gain us any planets really, so. Let's see, what do we got here? Alpha Centauri, 12. Alpha Centauri, 21. Oh, that is only a 12. Oh, no, the food is available. Might hold off on actually uh, colonizing Alpha Centauri, really. Oh, dinner will be nice. But we only got a plus one in the food department. Well, shoot. That's not what I was hoping for at all. Meanwhile, we got this one here. Oh, their turret's all blocked off by tile blockers, too. Okay, so so far all of our worlds are just blocked off. Okay, well, we're just going to have to suck it up. Head for Alpha Centauri. There are some places in which I can land and create a farm or something, which I'll increase food production there. Anyways, so we're going to grab our colony ship. Colony ship. Oh, let's see. The blazing fires of Trambot and my one might be throwing our sensors off, but we are picking up readings out of the ordinary. Uh, 20, yeah, let's do it. Uh, colonize this planet, and we will stick you, even though it'll take out our research for that area. We'll stick you right there. And you know what? I like that name. It works out for us. Oh. It looks like we have managed to unlock our first tradition. Wait, not our first one. We've already done some? I don't remember doing this. Huh. Okay. So, now produce one additional unity. Uh, for the purpose of colonizing... And building frontier outpost systems count as being half the regular distance away. Hmm. Yes. The IS uh, Courageous reports that they have been unable to find anything to deliver on the promised finds. Science officers. The uh, Falatier is distraught and apologized for the mistakes. Do not worry. Do not make any more mistakes. Do not worry. We're nice and friendly people. Well, I wish I'd actually paid attention when I was doing everything because ISS does not seem to fit with what we got going on here. Procyon literally has absolutely nothing in it. All those planets are not a thing of interest.
then again, maybe it does trim so far. Fly across the system. Gosh, these planes have nothing in them. <clears throat> Our colony ship. Yay! Great day for the system's lights. And as Alpha Centauri begins its work, I'm going to rename this. First. Defense fleet. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Tram Bodon 5. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly 6 million years ago. Based on the age of the artifacts, the aliens called themselves the Yut and appear to have been very large and flat arthro arthropod analogs. It seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly a hundred meters as an adult. It was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three yet to travel aboard the same starship. Well, okay. Situation log. What do we have? Habitable worlds. Survey two. Recovered. Okay. Well, we shall let this go. I will grab me some more coffee. Let's see if we can get anything else to happen. Science ship is done. Oh, there's another survey. You are level three. Small rectangular object on the surface. Oh, well, we already know what this is probably going to be. Blink, blink, blink. Anyways, yes. Um, another game I want to record for is a Star Wars Empire at War and all of its various mods. I actually had one up, but it was flagged for copyright infringement due to all the Star Wars songs. So, I backed out of that one, deleted it just so it would be fine. <laughs> and the crew discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on this planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Let's see what we got. Three. All right, let's do the research. We're here. We might as well while we're finishing it up. Okay. Um, yes, I know. Alpha Centauri is building. Oh, 
Reassembled ship shelter. The, re shelter. the remains of a colony ship reassembled for planet side form and function. It will be surrounded by tent cities and all that jazz. Well, the earth is covered up too, except for that spot right there. Okay. We're going to go ahead and build. Let's go ahead and clear you out. We need more food. Oh, no. I wanted to take care of Earth, Spaceport, a new colony ship. And how's all of our research doing? 28 months and some change. We'll go ahead and colonize the Sirius system as well. And once that's done, that'll pretty much cover our entire basis of core sector worlds that we can control. Once we start colonizing other planets, eventually we're going to start going into sectors, because we can only control three at a time in the core sector. That'll be Sol, Alpha Centauri, and Sirius. Science officer Fouts here has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Tram Bodon 3. It is a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this, in this region of the galaxy. They were apparently exterminated by the creators of the mural, a fact that they seem to regret. Given that the mural had been dated to be in excess of 300 million years old, it is likely that its creators are also extinct by now. Perhaps most interesting of all is the material that the mural was made of. Despite its age, it is in remarkably good condition. We will gain 60 research, and Palantir will gain 200 experience. Where does that leave us on our research here? 26 months, no, engineering, 13 months versus the 25. That's excellent. Get that stuff knocked out. What were we researching here? Ah, yes, the ion thruster. Okay, then. Let's see, where do we want to take a look next? Let's go ahead, survey this system. Survey this system. Never mind. We're not going to do it. We're going to survey here. Survey here. Then survey here. We'll see where we go from there. Pulsars. It's a long jump, but I think we can make it.
Okay. Colony ship is almost complete. And there we go. Boom. Colonize this planet. It'll stick you right there. And Sirius Prime for now is a good name. I'll change it as needed later on. Alright, now we have Alpha Centauri that is now completely colonized and fully operational. And now we are running out of food. Not what I wanted to do at all. Build. Basic hydroponics farm. The colony ship. Excellent new research. Let's see what we have here. Exoskeletons, mineral storage capacities. We'll go ahead and do that research. Oh, science ship's already done. At least we found something out here. I have to build another science ship at some point. Alright, time for deep space exploration. I think that's the maximum amount that we can do. Okay. Uh, nothing really for our construction ships to do. Build more mining stations. Uh, Earth. What do you got over here? Solar panel networks. Our power is... Eh. It's alright. Could be better, could be worse. <clears throat> um, so here we have two colonies. Well, Sirius is on the up and up. I could probably consider building out my defensive fleet. You know, what I need to do is upgrade my defensive fleet. Boom. And we are short on power. So let's actually go ahead over to here. Bam. Bam. And what happens if we take you away? Excellent. Save. Yes. New first fleet. Upgrade. Then Earth Continental World. I'll take up all of our resources that we currently have. Ah, see, we're already in the hole on our food production. I probably should have waited before I tried to do anything else. Uh, let's see, a large amount of ship debris. Oh, yes, indeed. To research that. I have to get them back over just 
control system to research that one anomaly back there. I should have had them do that on their way through. population of Alpha Centauri Prime are currently witnessing a spectacular sight. A comet is passing through Alpha Centauri Prime's asteroid belt, and the effect is being described as breathtaking. Oh, 60 months giving. Yay, yay, yay. I don't want to worry about that. A comet passing through an asteroid belt doesn't always necessarily mean something good. Uh, happiness 55. Uh, happiness as well. Oh, now our minerals are now going to decline. Oh, I should probably stop the construction. Spaceport, stop. That's it. We're done. No more ships. Um, however, I will be nice enough add you a new admiral let's see combat speed and fire rate are increased vision sublight this leader believes that speed and rapid maneuvers um, are the key to success in any space engagement this leader is an aggressive admiral always looking a small squadron of ancient combat drones appears to have been abandoned in orbit of Subarasi Va. Uh oh. After some long forgotten battle, as the active sensors the IS sweep over them, the drones power up and enter attack mode. Battle stations. Okay, we need something quick. Ship upkeep. Ooh, you know what? Recruit you. Oh, I thought I would help out. <sighs> Shoot. I don't think they're going to make it. Palatier is going to go up in flames. Combat drones. What do we got here? Corvette Red 1, Corvette Red 2. We have laser weapons. They have shields, armor. They are armed. The fleet is going to have to move out. We have a distress call from our science ship. Defense fleet, engage all. Move in and investigate. Excellent, they've run away. The ISS Hamal Courageous. Hmm. I don't like the way they do that. All right. Where are you going? Moving into orbit of Earth. You know what? We could upgrade you as well. Science ship. To the latest technologies of engines. And we will need to add a new small reactor. Bam. Save. Yes. Engage, science ship, 
also need to upgrade. All right. Technology advances of this is high. Let's get in there and do some damage, people. The campaign to elect a new president is underway. Missiles away. And that's where I slow down. Cannot handle those missiles. We are wreaking havoc on them. I thought, oh, I never assigned them. Five Corvettes. I only got one left. Excellent. First defense fleet. You are supposed to have an admiral on your side. Return for repairs. Looks like only two ships suffered damage. Uh, let's see what the situation logs say about it. Okay, we got plenty of days left. Jack Willis, excellent. Ah, uh, yes. Society research completed. Military Academy. Naval capacity, not worried. Yeah, what is our military academy? So it's just minor hull damage from the fleet engagements. Should be repaired shortly. One of the mini moons circling Uranus has a terminal orbit. It will soon collide with the gas giant in what is sure to become a massive impact event. This event has been millions of years in the making, and it is a startling coincidence that the impact has been fated to occur just after a visit by one of our ships. Many of our scientists wish to observe and record the event, but we only have a narrow window before it is too late. Uh -oh. Situation log. Okie dokie. Uh, wait, situation log. Research. Then we'll get them flying over to the other place. This guy. So, today in fleet ac actions, we have had military engagement, observing a moon impacting into Uranus, and then we will gain some technological research capabilities. Oops, more research completed. Bam. Energy storage. New research. Ah, look you here. We have deflectors capability. Let's bring forth the deflector shields.
Uh, we'll get this thing done and we'll get that last little bit of research over there off the debris. Provided we make it out there in time. And I believe that will call it a day for today. Probably be running me close to an hour. What do we got here? Oh, I saved him. Okay, we're almost done observing this moon. We were success successful in our attempts to record the collision between Uranus and its moons. The event was captured from several different angles and transmitted live throughout our space. Most importantly, our scientists, under the leadership of Faratia, were able to record a large amount of valuable physics data that will surely benefit our research. Boom. Oh, man, that just knocked that down to half. All right, science ship. Get out of here. Do yours. Then we finish surveying the system. You are almost level four. Oh, poor lady, when you die, life will be hard. So Sirius is now fully functioning. Which I was neglecting. Surface. Basic hydroponics farm. We need to ensure that we are prepared to defend our people, our planet. Well, feed our people, I should say. Oh, excellent. Boy, that debris got pretty decent. I thought we were closer to the planet when we did that. Scan the debris and continue on our survey mission of this planet, or the system. See if we can't find any more valuable resources. Blech. Oh, pardon me, folks. So our food resources are dwindling. Minerals and energy are on the up. Excellent. We have five ships in the first defense fleet. We were going to have seven. Fusion power deflectors, nano composite materials, physics research, and engineering research are all in the area. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the end of this episode. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you like the content. If you do, please feel free to hit that like button. And if not, well, 
please feel free to explain to me why. Leave comments. I would enjoy that so I know what people are wanting, what I can do to make things better. Give me ideas of mods you would like to see on several different games. I do have a lot of them. Um, newer games don't necessarily work because my until I get my video card updated on this thing. But feel free to suggest them. As soon as I am able to, I will produce content in those video games. But for now, this is it. Thank you very much.